From our breakfast table to yours, Power Breakfast continues to be the leader on current affairs and issues affecting you. Breakfast, you want to go to work, but you're still so tired because you have been waking up. Today we take a closer look at the faces you meet every morning and a behind the scenes look on the Power Breakfast show. Yeah, um, until you're called and told talker. Um, for the mic, uh, yeah, is there a place where we can put it where it doesn't do this? With the year coming to an end, it is time for us to reflect on 2010. Somebody once said, men are haunted by the vastness of eternity. And so we ask ourselves, will our actions echo across the centuries? And will strangers hear our names long after we are gone and wonder who we were, how bravely we fought and how fiercely we loved? Life is all about leaving a mark behind. When I look at what I've done so far, I give thanks to God. Inspirational moments, everyone has a story. Even the news, it's really about why am I here at this particular moment? You know what I say? It's because of a purpose, and it's only for a season. So now that it is the season for me to be at the place I am in, I ought to work towards excellence. In other words, add value to other people. That includes you. My happiness is that uh, over the years, the Power Breakfast show of Citizen Television has always been on top of all the other breakfasts. It's been a wonderful year. It's been a challenging year as well. Um, finally moved to Power Breakfast. Waking up is the hardest thing on earth, but uh, I think when you see what you've done and some of the interviews that you have, end up being the best interviews you've done in your life. For me, it's, 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 been, a, it's been a blessing. Um, I have really enjoyed myself. Yeah. 2010, I think for me, was just a very um, learning Yeah, I was just constantly learning. When I first joined Power Breakfast, um, I joined as a host and then um, was overtaken by events, so I learned how to produce, I learned how to edit, I learned how to balance a lot of my time as well, um, and just being given these opportunities to, number one, do what I do on Power Breakfast in terms of art galore and, and featuring um, a lot of Kenyan artists that haven't been featured before and haven't been in the limelight. For me, that's, I hold it so sacred. And then more importantly, learning what happens behind the scenes, now going into production, going into editing, going into research. Um, I'm so thankful for that opportunity, um, specifically because in this industry you have to kind of be more rounded um, when you come out of it. And I think this year, I'm definitely going to end it a better person than when I began. I think for, for uh, the show, uh, it, uh, per se, was, um, you know, we've had interviews with, uh, um, I think, a certain politician, Humutegi. <laughs> quite riled, which was interesting. You know, we had an interview with Efre Minor, uh, the member for Matera, and uh, he, we invited him because he wanted to explain why he had uh, introduced a bill in Parliament to, to reintroduce price controls in this country. And uh, when we did that interview, he found it very difficult uh, to, to, to introduce a price control regime. And he was absolutely very upset with our interview. It was me and another person. 
And uh, as I say, a lot of people think that I can be abrasive, I can be rather unkind. Well, I totally appreciate Bona Muteki Njal, the newspaper review. I mean, such a, a senior, indeed, in terms of, you know, building and challenging you at, at every uh, particular moment for you to move ahead. And that's really what we need, all of us. We need challenges in life. My journalism is not about public relations. It's about getting truth for people in, in influence and people in power or people in public office to account for what they do and what they say. But my most memorable day would have to be the day Higgs went on air, you know, welcoming me and telling me, can you go welcome to the Power Breakfast team? And so for me, my first interview was a harrowing experience. Uh, of course, my producer at that time just watching and everyone else is watching and wondering, is he going to make a mistake? And when I finally wound up, I'm not kidding you, people actually collapsed in studio because um, I guess contrary to the expectations, it had gone so well. No matter what I do, my favorite moment is actually going on Facebook or going on the email and reading the feedback, whether it's for the Power Breakfast Show as a whole, whether it's for Sports Zone, whether it's for Art Galore, that for me is just a crowning moment, just for someone to say, great job. Because at the end of the day, it's like a jigsaw puzzle. You know, I cannot be in every space, but there is that particular space that if I just fit and occupy it, then we will have a complete picture. The Power Breakfast team is an amazing team. We're, we're many. They're a very welcoming team. When we come in at six in the morning, we laugh, we crack jokes. It's, it's entertaining. Um, hard workers as well because you can imagine waking up at 4 a.m. and having stamina to do you know a three-hour show from six it's a bit tough but we pulled it through my name is Robert I'm the Power Breakfast Show Director my job entails giving instruction and direction of how I want things to happen so that we have a smooth or a nice result at the end of the show and this year has been a very good year for us. We have been growing and we expect more things to come, come 2011. And the team has been a very, very nice team we have here. And uh, my happiness is that most of them are very young people. Uh, some of them just left college. Others uh, are old hands, uh, some experienced people, like Jimmy Gatho. Uh, others are you know, people with peculiar personalities like Makazi. Um, working as a team, make sure that we have all opinions um, covered, all angles covered, so whatever we bring you has gone through a great vetting process and that for me is very important. I feel like Power Breakfast has, has been a bit of a challenge because it's a different team that I'm working with and it's smaller, although I really enjoy the team and I feel like everybody's really warm and welcoming and things really work together well. Two things. One, I'm a, car, I'm a car fanatic. I'm crazy about cars. Um, uh, another thing is, I've got this thing when I'm driving. I, I kind of uh, count the numbers on, 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 on registration. It's crazy. I, I don't know, but it's, and it's very natural. I mean, I, especially if I'm in a jam and cars are passing, I just kind of look at the, at the numbers and, you know. Uh, One thing people don't know about me is I watch sports. I was brought up by, I was brought up around men, so the sports culture is part and parcel of me. Something that people don't know about me is that um, I love my wife. My, my wife is the greatest gift I have in this world. Okay, another thing that people don't know about me is my Swahili is really, really poor. So anybody that can help me with this, I really would appreciate it. Actually, I'm a Christian. I'm brought up in a Christian home. And at the same time, I'm the chairman of the uh, PCA, the Communications Committee of the General Assembly. One thing people don't know about me is that I, you know, I first studied IT and in many ways I'm what one may call a modern day technology geek. Uh, you know, I love anything that has to do with technology, cars, uh, gadgets, gizmos and that sort of thing. I'm actually a trained lawyer, so I think in 2011 I'll have to find a way 
to kind of merge the law and the media. But that's one thing people don't know about me. I'm actually um, a law degree holder. You can expect a lot more um, of a lot more upbeatness in the morning because we're trying to make things a little bit more lively, um, trying to get you guys out of bed, and yeah. I think the challenge continues. Um, we now have uh, youth, youthful uh, members of Common Board. Uh. For myself and for the Power Breakfast team, for Citizen Television as well, to bigger and better things, you can only grow. You don't go down, you keep going up. We'll do all this again. Um, can't, I don't know, let me think. You might cause it. I didn't get a bit of health, I didn't get a bit of sports, I didn't get a bit of art, I didn't get... You got that? Is there a place where we can put it where it doesn't do this? Yeah, 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 okay. <laughs>